Hey guys, and welcome back to Stories Path of Destiny. So, what one did we choose? Well, the Skyripper, obviously. It was Jesus. a no-brainer. He'd sacrificed his old friend Lapino to get the armature. And the armature was useless by itself. Only a series of coils and wheels. War demanded sacrifices. And he would make more before the end. He would have to choose the greatest good, no matter how much it cost him. Zenobia. Well... He would see her sooner or later, across a battlefield or a sword's point before all this was over. He was sure of that. The power was in the core. Obviously, he had to get the core. Sweet. I want this epic weapon. Always the epic weapons. Doesn't matter how many people you need to sacrifice for it. He looked up at the old trees around him. They were so big and so old. They'd been there before he was born, and they'd be there after he'd passed into legend. Was he confronting his own unimportance? What had got into him? He was no philosopher. Anyway, who cares? He was plenty important. He was a hero, and soon he'd prove it. Woo! I feel like this is sort of a Metroidvania where you need to, like, grab shit and head back. Head this way. Who needed bridges anyway? Fuck. Oh, no, we're good. Jeez. I thought that we'd started going the wrong way because we couldn't go back. That was worrying. How is this? Jump down? Oh yeah. Anyway, I wanna. I was gonna say I wanna have an explore first. Jeez, what'd you take me for? I sort of madman doesn't like make with all these sword crafting materials. Thought Renato. We've got forty one and two, so we could definitely make the fire sword. We can't make the ice sword. I don't know what the void sword needs though. But I definitely want to make each of the swords before upgrading any. It just seems to make sense. Ooh. Fiery stuff. Renato checked for a false compartment. Ah. Nope. We got a uh, water essence, which means... There was something sour in the air. Like the earth had ruptured over something that had been fermenting for a very long time. I seem to be very adept at uh, finding the... The places where you're not supposed to be going in order to get the loot. <laughs> it's one of those fucking and sick this gamer senses. Is why heroes are called dashing, Renato thought. See? Dashing? Get it? Oh, you fuck. You dirty fuck. Ah, you piece of fucking trash to your shit. Renardo was remembering all his old tricks. There were fewer and fewer trees. Damn it. There were only these huge crystalline growths. Had those been here before? He no longer heard birds except for the feverish cawing of the ravens when they attacked. He couldn't smell the small animals of the forest. The mice and rabbits. Where are they so going? time after success. And he was getting hungry too. This was an unhealthy place to be. Um. Perfect strike. Attack immediately when the previous attack hits to land a perfect strike. He'd Ooh, double combo bonus. old skills. He welcomed them back like he was at a reunion. I like the sound of that. Fight! There we go. Oh, fuck you, you stupid fucking fuck. Oh my god. 
For some wow. reason, Renata remembered a fairy tale his mother had told him about a land where only the apes talked and animals went around without clothes. There we go. Oh my god. There we go. Get wrecked. 53 combo. Perfect fucking combat. Yeah. We've only got 50 health. Jesus. We got our ass kicked in that other fight. Tell us this. The twenty-sided core made him feel physically sick. Once he had sneaked into a temple of the dark arts and he hadn't liked what he smelt and saw there, this felt like that. As quick as he could, he wrangled the icosahedron into the armature. The wheels began to spin, then glow. The sick feeling quickly spun away. Now he only felt sad. He had lost good friends for this war apparatus. He carried his prize back to the Farfarer. Now, he had to make his next move. There was a key Imperial outpost on the Nexus. If this really was some sort of super weapon, he could use it to wreak havoc on the enemy. And if it wasn't, well, better to know that before the final battle. But maybe he should show it to some scientists first. There was an observatory on the Nexus. Maybe he should go there before he fired it. Unfortunately, that is all I'm allowed to show you for now until the game releases on the 12th. So, do put this in the comment section below what one you want me to hit up next. And also, uh, hype the fuck out these videos if you want to see this return on the 12th when the game actually comes out. But, as always, I've been Cedro, you've been awesome, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.